to the Heart of America Conference Softball Media Day. Uh, I am your host, Taylor Thomas, with at NAISB, which is the home of independent NAI softball coverage. Uh, today, we are joined by head softball coach of the Culver Stockton College Wildcats, Coach Rob Radcliffe, and infielder Allie Thompson. Coach and Allie, thank you guys for joining us, and how's it going? Going really well. Nice to be back after the holidays. Uh, Coach, let's go ahead and start with you. Uh, tell us about Allie and how much has she meant to your program? Yeah, well, this started my second year. So last year was the first year I got to coach with her. She was an all-conference uh, first team when I came in. And then so she was this year, this last year also. So um, very versatile, uh, kind of a utility player, really, in all honesty, because uh, before I got here, she played shortstop. Uh, she played third base last year. Uh, this year, she's going to be our starting catcher uh, and then also play a little infield with that um, if she isn't catching. So, yeah, we're really excited with that. Uh, very good with the offensive end of our alley is for our team also. And, uh, Allie, first question for you here. So what is your what is your major and um, what is your hometown? Where are you from? Um, I'm majoring in criminal justice and psychology, and I'm from Des Moines, Iowa. Go ahead and tell us about your uh, softball journey growing up in Des Moines. When did you start playing, and how did you get to uh, Culver Stock? Um, I started playing t-ball, and then it ended up kind of being like a rec, like rec ball, and then that grew into tournament ball and travel ball. So I travel around, and we would go to like the big cities, and hopefully get like college exposure. And I had like colleges, some college coaches, they reached out to me, and then. Um, the coach my freshman year here, she ended up seeing me play at a tournament. And then so she was able to reach out to my club coach and then he got in contact with me. So then I originally got in contact with her and came on a couple of visits here and then kind of decided this kind of seemed the right fit for me. And so that's kind of how it started. And um, how was the how was the fall season for you guys, Allie? And what are you guys looking forward to once you're able to get back outside next week in the spring? Um, the fall season went really well. We have – this year we have a lot of great hitters. Um, I think our hitting is going to be really well. Our defense is looking good too. Um, I think in the spring we're going to be like really – we're going to be really aggressive, um, hoping – basically we always want to be better than what we were. We always are looking to improve. Um I'm just really excited to see like what we can all put together as a team. And uh, coach, obviously last year you and the uh, you took the Wildcat program to the conference tournament and uh, nearly upset the number one seed in Central Methodist in the first round. Um, how did your one go, and what are some of the goals uh, for your program uh, this year, this season? Yeah, for this season, we're really looking. Uh, we got a lot more depth than what, probably what we had last year, which will be really nice. Uh, we battled with a few injuries and didn't have a lot of depth to kind of cover up for the injuries. So, so we're feeling pretty good about that part of it. Um, we got a little bit um, younger team than probably what we did last year, uh, but uh, definitely got some talent that came in. Uh, so that's really going to be exciting to work with. Uh, the girls have been working really hard all fall, and now it's just time to start putting it together for the spring. steps to finish in the top four to five of the conference this year? Well, I think it's going to be pretty much uh, the overall basis of our team. Um, the good thing about our team is we do have a couple of really good pitchers that have returned. Um, I think our offense hopefully will be a little bit better. Uh, defensively, that's what we relied on last year was our defense a lot. We do have a lot of core players back from last year's team, even though we graduated 12 seniors. So, um, you know, I think it's just going to take a matter of us playing game by game and just try to keep improving for each game and, and going out, you know, to compete each and every time that we get out there on the field. Um, that's kind of the key that we're trying to really learn here, how to compete and believe in ourselves and, and make it a positive atmosphere here. Are there any newcomers this year that can make a big impact on the squad? 
uh, yeah, we'll probably have about eight or 10 of them that might um, make an impact. So, uh, so let, that's why I say it's kind of exciting because it's a younger team, but a newer team too. And with the, with, you know, with the exception of a few of our core players back. So, um, so yeah, it's going to be fun to see how it mixes. Uh, I'm sure, I'm sure we're going to have to really um, do some different experiments and see how it gels and everything as the season goes. Um, so that, that'll be the exciting part of it. So with more players uh, competing and practicing and things like that. And a question for Allie here. Uh, Want to hear a little bit more about you and your teammates. Uh, what is your guys' team chemistry like this far? Um, I think this year is probably one of the better like team chemistry wise that we've had. Um, we all really gel pretty well together. We all hang out outside of softball. And when it comes to softball, we all kind of have the same drive to, we want to be better. We want to continue working on to improve. Um, I think we all have high hopes for the season. So that helps a lot is that we all have that main focus towards season. And uh, another question for you, what are some of your favorite memories um, that you've had at your time so far playing at Culver Stockton? Um, Probably one of them is almost upsetting the number one seed, for sure. Um, making it to conference tournament, that's a huge one. Um, just kind of just experiencing softball as a sport with my teammates and making like my lifelong friends outside of college is probably just one of the biggest things. As an athlete, of course, the, um, the heart conference is one of the tougher conferences for softball in the entire NAI. Uh, tell us about your experience as an athlete facing such great, obviously coaches and competition in the heart week in and week out. Um, Definitely to balance softball and school is a little bit challenging, but when you make like great connections with your coaches, they know, like they understand where school is at. They understand the softball. They understand like the pressure of it all together. Um, school comes first. So school, basically that's the important thing. Um, softball wise, we kind of, sometimes we rely on each other, rely on each other, like our teammates, to know to kind of help balance out like where we're feeling or like where we're at, you know, like we rely a support system kind of on ourselves, our teammates, our coaches. Um, they help us kind of like pick each other up and they know if we're having like a bad day, they know to help out and to kind of just pick us up, I guess. And uh, coach, the same question for you um, as the leader of the team. Uh, tell us about what it's like to prepare your squad uh, for each uh, conference series uh, every weekend, obviously, with there being such tough competition throughout. Yeah, right. Um, the fun part about this conference is that everyone can beat everyone. Uh, that was one thing I looked at when I was looking at different schools for to coach at and stuff. Uh, so I like that type of competition because if you're not playing well, you're definitely going to get beat. If you are playing good, you got, you know, you can have a little pride in that. We beat a good team, um, things like that. Um, so our, you know, our athletes, what we're trying to do is get them for the competition for a season. You know, we're trying to hold them accountable, but yet also praise them at the same time, give them that support, um, you know, and just try to go out each and every day and try to get a little better. And, you know, we want to play our best ball come April is when we're really trying to get to where we can gel everything together, uh, you know. So so we, we put together a tough non-conference schedule to help us with our conference because that's a big piece of it is that um, we need to play stiffer competition non-conference because if not, we're not prepared for when we play in our conference. So that that's one thing that we really tried to do this year was try to build up that non-conference schedule early. If weather holds and everything, hopefully that will help prepare us also. Yeah, that's awesome. I, mean, that's, I feel like every coach has uh, mentioned that as well, having to play a tough non-conference schedule just with the, uh, the competition week in and week out in the conference. So it really does obviously prepare you guys for uh, what you're about to face come March. Uh, so, Coach uh, and Allie, I really appreciate it. 
Uh, thank you guys for joining us today and taking time out of your day to give us a little bit of insight on uh, Culver Stockton. And we wish you the best of luck in 2023. Okay, thank you.